What is the standard and why do you believe co-counsel got it wrong? Well, there's, I, I mean, it, it, this is a lot to process. Obviously, I learned about this yesterday evening. Um, but just in looking at, so the first time I look at this evidence was this morning because they, it was brought over to court. I think as you saw, the judge had them open right. the envelope. And so there were three rounds that looked very similar to the live rounds that were found on the set of rust. My, right. if, you know, thinking as a defense attorney, I'm thinking the defense could have argued Hannah Gutierrez Reed was a great armorer. She was completely competent and there was sabotage. So you have that potential sabotage angle. Mm. Uh, so then at that point, potentially those three rounds do become potentially exculpatory. Uh, but the point is, it should have been turned over. It wasn't turned over. So you, and you think it met the standard. Any way you look at it, it's, it should have been turned over. It was enough for you to step away. Um, I want to ask you about the case now that, that it's dismissed, because I, I, don't, I didn't understand why you guys brought it. I thought it was totally political. I thought if this guy's name wasn't Alec Baldwin, uh, if it was Alec McIntosh, he wouldn't be there, that he pissed off the prosecutors early on by what he was saying, and they wanted to get him. Why am I wrong? Well, first of all, I was not involved in the charging decisions. I will tell I you that based on my evaluation of the evidence that I was privy to and that I saw when I came mm -hmm. on board on this case um, was that there were numerous clips from the filming on the set that showed that Mr. Baldwin, unfortunately, did engage in some um, horseplay uh, with this gun. Uh, for, for example, one individual who was interviewed by the OSHA investigators and in, uh, testified uh, or gave an interview that um, there was a time that he allowed Mr. Baldwin to use him kind of as a, as a target. Um, so he would shoot blanks at him as at his person. And obviously these are real guns. You don't do that with real guns. So there's a- On a movie a set? The, it, but isn't that exactly what little, they do on a movie set? Well, no, you don't use another person as a target, as a human target. So that could potentially be reckless. And so, it, you know, it, it, he wasn't charged with intentional homicide. We, There's no question. For me, there's no question Mr. Baldwin did not intend to do this. But the question is, was there wanton and recklessness? And so that's why I did believe in the case. I had no idea that this other evidence had not been turned right. over. That is because very clear, and I've told the audience, this is not about you. That's a separate uh, prosecutor who seemed to know about it. We've showed her on screen. Her name is Morrissey. It is not you. I just want to ask you, I have two more questions. The first one is, I still don't buy it. I don't understand how on a movie set you should have a reasonable expectation that you might have live ammo in the weapon. Well, why? Why would you well, have that as a reasonable expectation? Because remember, the, there are the SAG guidelines, there's bullets and safety bulletins that dictate, if, even if you're an actor, even if you're on a movie set, you treat a live, a, a real firearm as though it's always loaded, never point it at another person, and don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Those are cardinal firearm handling safety rules. So yes, uh, did I believe that there was some inappropriate uh, behavior with regard to handling this gun, I do. Um, it's yeah. unfortunate that things went the way they went, but but the fact of the matter is that we, as prosecutors, have very, very serious and high ethical obligations that when something comes to our attention, evidence comes to us, or we become aware of evidence, you turn it over. You don't decide. Are you a big... Are you a big Alec Baldwin fan? Are you a big Alec Baldwin fan? You know, I actually I do. I am a fan. I wouldn't say a big fan. I, I did, and I never saw him as Alec Baldwin, the actor. To me, it was this is a case. Someone died. This was a tragic case. Someone was mm -hmm. killed, and, and she was killed with a live bullet. She was killed because someone mm -hmm. also pointed a, a gun at her. I, to, right. I never had. For me, it was not about Alec Baldwin, the actor. This is not about politics. For me, it, it is. It was about putting forth the facts before a jury.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.